Hey, welcome back to DXB today. Call it the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, whatever industrial revolution you want to call it. You can guarantee that artificial intelligence is playing its part. There is uh, no getting away from the fact that AI, generative AI, and just artificial intelligence in general is the buzzword of 2024. But it's been around for a long, long time. Uh, one man who's been very much invested in it is, of course, Uzair Merchant, the production designer and director of Create Labs. Uzair's alongside us. Good to see you as always. Thank you for having Does me. Does it surprise you? I mean, for someone, yeah, we were talking a little earlier on with Krim about early adopters. Does it surprise that people like you that have been early adopters and been talking about AI for a long time that, 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 that the world has got so excited about the potential all of a sudden? Yeah, it's funny because it's just now hitting like mainstream, right? <laughs> but one of the things that uh, you know, we were chatting about earlier outside is I get people to try to think why was art actually created in the first place? Like why do artists actually create? So you can go and create an exact replica of the Mona Lisa right now and it's going to look exactly the same, mm -hmm. but is it going to be worth that much? So what it lacks is mind, body and soul. So, you know, earlier you guys were talking about what's what's the future like, right? Because, you know, we're at this point right now, but you can add the mind and body. Uh, you know, you upload your, your new robotics with the new latest GPT and all of that, but it will never have soul. Like you will never get the soul into it. Mm -hmm. So like as artists, why do artists actually create? It's a way of expression. Um, you can get people to create as much as you want using AI, but what's the intention behind it? Yeah. And you know, even earlier it's mentioned like a live show is still a live show. And there's a reason for that. It's because mm. consciousness is a medium of language. So like for an early adopted artist, me going into that was with that intention is how do we use this as a tool to make things more intuitive and more immersive and more experiencing, you know, ex experiencing something beyond what we're doing rather than just hey, here's a copy paste of something, and then what does that really do? Nothing, absolutely nothing, yeah. right? So consciousness yeah. is a medium of language. Like we have to remember that at every step of AI, it will never gain soul. Would, like, you, would you say that this is where Create Labs comes in? Uh, yes, um, in a way we've been, we've been experimenting with certain projects. Last year we had um, a project where it was called the Eighth Sin. So I took the seven deadly sins, the eighth one in my world being immortality. Um, and uh, we published my book and then what I did is I did some of my own artwork we then took that shot music video and then used my artwork with the video to do live motion mapping and in that process we actually trained up two new people to do that so not taking away jobs from people mm. but actually giving the future generation jobs of how do you take this and take eight weeks of a process and turn it down to like eight minutes but there's an intention behind it it's this is my world, this is what I'm trying to tell. There's a thought gone behind it, now let's make the process way quicker. And I think that's what you mentioned earlier too, is how do we make the process quicker, but not just, yeah, because just because I can use you know Drake's voice or, or Tupac's voice and go and do something with it, but if it's only to make money, it will never last because then it's never got longevity. In yeah. it. You get what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of what we've been kind of playing with in, in that side. Uzair, I agree with you on the, on the need for soul, but at the same time, if we think of human beings and consumers, you've already heard the stories about people who fell in love with uh, some of those early language AI chatbots yeah. and actually believed that they were talking to a real person. Yeah. Uh, so, so, and you, you also know that there's a few billionaires in Silicon Valley who are funding startups that are trying to download our brain yeah. uh, so that they can live forever. Yeah. So aren't we... Consumers can be fooled into believing that AI is real and Correct. actually have an emotional connection with it. So could that transcend to also then the, the content that's created, the music that's created and the films that are created? I love that you asked that question. It comes down to frequency. See, there's a difference of downloading information and the difference to actually utilizing it. The people that fall in love with an AI bot or a software is purely an emptiness within themselves that they find. It's like going to a shrink, right? They will go and pay for something that will go and give them something back. But how long does that last? Not too long. Someone trying to live forever, it's because there's a different intention behind it, but will their body still accumulate what it is right now at a certain age? We don't know yet, but what we know is that when it's time, it's time. We all will have a definitive end. Yes, you can upload your mind. I think Deepak Chopra did it, right? Deepak Chopra, he went and he created an AI, a bot of himself, and you can do a session with Deepak Chopra. But is it the same as having an experience of, hey, each person's situation is completely different. 
And so how quickly is it going to adapt to that? Like three, four of us or five of us all use this Deepak Chopra app, for example. How is it going to relate to each one of our actual problems? And is it going to turn our brain the other way? This is what I'd hope people will ask that question. It's because yes, you can download the mind, but for what purpose? Mm. Yes, you can fall in love with an AI software, but for how long? And that's not really love, is it? Because the frequency, what we want to achieve as human beings, will never get there because it's just temporary. But I would say and argue with you in that sense, there's a lot of people that aren't in tune with the right frequency. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Because you're, you're, you're teetering on the, on, the, on the point of spirituality here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 100%. So when it comes to certain frequencies, and we as humans resonate on a certain frequency. 100%. The majority of people are not resonating on the frequency they should be at. 100%. So you know what I mean? So 100%. they're easily tricked by, by all of these tools. And you use that thought and you come back to what has happened pre-AI is the social media outrage. So before you dive into the AI side, it's you go and sort out the side of how social media and all of that was actually influenced. You know, it was on the gambling algorithm, right? And you go sort that out is why are we doom scrolling? Why are we constantly being fed wrong data through the media, wrong information, the news in whatever sense of, it's control. It's you don't have that frequency in the modern time because you're letting yourself be controlled. So as consumers, you know, you ask the question, how do you know if something's AI or not? Mm. Ask what intention was that made with? Mm. What's the purpose of that? And then you will yourself come back to a, a thought process and probably figure out half of the answer right there going, well, who put this track out? Well, whose voice is it? Why was it actually put out? Well, what is it actually saying? Well, what are the lyrics in it? Because when Tupac did it, he did it at a time. He was telling people the news. Well, why is this person talking about this right now? Well, what are they actually talking about? Are they dissing someone? Who are they? And you come down to the answer, but it's just, you've got to ask yourself that question. To keep asking why? questions is De why? key. Why? Yeah. Definitely yeah. a fresh perspective. Was there, unfortunately, we've run short of time. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you And uh, really, I mean, showing us a different dimension about all of this. I mean, it's really refreshing. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Lane, I believe you have our DXP in 60 quiz. I do indeed. Yeah. Let me just see if Get I it have it. Yay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Wonderful. And it's to you, sir. Oh, are you ready? <laughs> I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> it's all good, literally. We just look because look, the show goes extremely quick, right? As you've noticed. Yes. So we want to get as much more information as we can in just 60 seconds. Okay. 60 more seconds. So um, we're going to have the timer on the clock. Three, two, one, and here we go. So if you weren't in the media space, Grim, what would you be doing? Creating AI tools. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Your motto in life and in work. You should have told me you are going to ask me this before. <laughs> it's definitely not be prepared as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, and uh, related be to curious. that, a superpower that like you actually, wish you actually had. Actually, all, all the young people who are studying with us in the company ask me this. It's be curious, especially now with AI. Nice. If you're not curious and always pushing the, yourself to learn, you're going to fall behind. Nice one. Yeah, we did learn that just now. Be curious, ask more questions. Wonderful. So a superpower that you wish you had? <sighs> Teleportation. Hey. An upcoming trend in AI you're excited about? I'm really excited to see how AI is going to do two things. One, it's going to unleash the creativity of everyone and to change our industry. AI hack or an app you absolutely swear by? <laughs> uh, today it's called perplexity.ai. Okay. Try it out. Uh, one last question, why Dubai? Why? Uh, I'll, I'll take the recent examples of, uh, of what's going on and what happened uh, with the unfortunate rains and so on. I have never seen a place recover so quickly. And if you take this mindset and this spirit and apply it to you know, the investments that are being done in AI, the forward-looking visionary uh, nature of, of seeing where's the future, always wanting to be a step ahead, makes perfect sense. Here, here, sir. Doesn't thank you so much. <laughs> Kareem, bless you. Can't thank you enough for being our guest co-host today. My pleasure. Uh, thanks so much indeed for uh, all of your insight and input as well. And Azir, thank you so much indeed for, thank you. for coming on and uh, sharing your thoughts with us as well. We thank you for having you me. Thank us. you. Uh, listen, uh, that might be it for guests, but there's still plenty more to come on the show. Coming up, Nick Pritchard is going to be playing us out. Stay with us here on DXP Today. <laughs> <laughs>